Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back. Dawn here with Amethyst Moon Studios and I'm preparing to accept another group challenge. Uh, the colors I'm using today for the challenge are all Artist Loft. I've got the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white and then I have the Turquoise in Aqua Green. The Brilliant Yellow and the Light Magenta. So fun colors, kind of unicorn colors. I mixed all my paints uh, with a pouring medium of 60% Elmer's Glue All and 40% water. Um, I mixed my paints almost one part to one part. Um, I added a little bit more white paint but a little bit less of the colors because they are a little bit thicker. So uh, I have four ounces then, two ounces of pouring medium, two ounces of paint, and then each cup got three drops of the Spot On Treadmill Oil. I've already got those mixed in, so save time. We can just go ahead and get started. I'm just going to give these another quick stir. Um, so this is an 11 by 14 inch canvas. And... So I've got about 20 ounces of paint here. I did have to thin my colors out a little bit with water to consistency. There's a little bit more in each cup. So I'm just layering the white in first. And that looks like it's about half. Okay. So I had a hard time deciding what, how I wanted to layer these colors. Um, I didn't want to put the two, the blue and the aqua green together because they would get lost in each other. Um, and then deciding which one to put next to the white. So I basically just put the darkest color and put the pink in between the blue and the green, and the yellow at the end. So we should still get some pretty good definition in these cells, I think. A little bit more in this cup. Not quite half there. So I'm doing two layers, so these in about half. Half of each. Try not to be stingy on the first layer. I tend to not put as much in my first layer sometimes. Alright, now this nice bright yellow. So yeah, I thought these were kind of like unicorn colors. So it's kind of cool. All right, now we'll finish off the white. Use that up. I think I got it pretty, pretty equal. Okay, that's it for the white. <clears throat> now the turquoise. So this should be a fun one for sure. these colors. Something nice and bright. It's so super sloppy with these. Scraping my cups out. All right. I think 
think I just saw something blob in there. I'll try to get that out now. All right, finish off this pink. So, hope everybody's been doing great. We've got some exciting stuff coming up over the next couple weeks in my personal life, so got a lot going on. I kind of ran out of room in my studio a little bit. Got a little bit of ahead of myself with some of my paintings, and since they take weeks to cure before I can varnish them, I was running out of space so I had to put the brakes on it for a minute yet <laughs> let the drying process catch up I just get so involved in creating new stuff so excited to try new techniques, or new color combos. So yeah, ran out of space. I guess there's worse problems to have, right? Finish off this yellow. Get these cups flipped over. So sometimes I add or I spray my cups with sil or, uh, uh, WD-40 and then wipe them out. Uh, I did not do that today because I knew these cups were going to be pretty full as it was. So there isn't a lot of room or a lot of space, I should say, for the paint to travel down the cups. So I'll just move these two for a second and get these flipped. You can see how pretty those colors are layered in the cup. Let's give you kind of an idea of what we'll see on the canvas. That yellow is really popping. It looks like I've got a couple tiny cells popping up already. Wipe off my drips here. Yes, that's a nice, nice bright yellow. So this should be fun. Just wanted to make sure I had enough paint. So normally with this size canvas, you can get away with five ounces of paint. Um, mostly I think if you have a flow extender. So if you're making a pour onto a puddle uh, for like a pearl pour or something, or um, ring pours if your mix is a little bit thinner and it'll move easily across the canvas. Or like I said, if you've got a flow extender that helps your paint stretch across the canvas without um, disrupting the composition, then you can get away with five ounces. Um, but I wanted to make sure I have enough paint to stretch and get over the corners without having those big blobs I even have my little corner catcher to help with that. So I think we can go ahead and get started. Here we go. Ooh. Wow. I'll just leave that for now. Hang on. I wonder. I think I'm going to turn this real quick. What are you sticking to? I'm going to turn this real quick and I 
can see I've already got cells popping up. Wow. I'm going to turn this from the other, or I'm going to flip this from the other direction. Hang on. Here we go. Yeah, see we get different colors that way. So now I'll flip this back around again real quick. And here we go. Yeah, see we got way more yellow on those first two, or the ones on the sides. Uh, you stop that. Okay, so I'm going to cover some corners real quick. It's already gone a little muddy. Let's see if I've got, yeah, I'll use this one. This one seems not as muddy. So. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and start getting this paint moving together. And getting it stretched. And the corner catcher up. Come get this corner. Now we'll come get this corner. All right. Turn this back the other way. Okay, now do I want to torch now? I think I have to, um, well maybe not. Maybe I can stretch the little last little bit of that off and then torch. So let's try that. corner catcher again here because I want to leave enough paint on the canvas that I can stretch. Okay. Put that off to the side for now. of how I have this leveled. I'm just going to turn this back around real quick. Okay. Wipe my hands off. Now I'll torch. See what cells we can get to pop up. Should get some interesting Cells. So we'll see how this goes. Got some nice bright pink ones popping up. Oop, got a little close there. like that pink and the turquoise worked together to make some pretty purple cells. Let's see what else we can get here. Even got some orange over here.
Nice pretty rainbow of colors. Let's see what else we can get to pop up here. Ugh, got a little too close there. I'm hesitant to kind of touch this area because I've got that green and yellow. I'm not sure I love this section. Let's see. Let's see what else I can get to pop up here. I'm just going to go for it. Give it some heat. See if anything works its way up there. Okay. Let's see if we can get something going in here. Some great multicolored cells popping up. Woo! I'm gonna hit this corner a little bit more. Let's see what we get. Okay. So yeah, we've got some definite multicolored cells that look really good, really good. I am just going to move the paint around a little bit. Open up those cells. I'm just kind of rocking my canvas and letting the paint move and stretch those cells open a little bit. I'm just rocking it back. Some solid colors too, some solid cells. I'm not sure that I love this corner though. I wonder. I wonder. I don't think I can really get rid of much of that at all without kind of overstretching anything else. Let's see what we get. Let's see how much I can <laughs> get off there without We're stretching too much on the other end. Got a little bit of it gone. A little bit 
far. A bit of that off. There we go. Help grow those cells a little bit. Ooh. Wow. So much color going on in here. Okay, let me bring you guys in for a close-up. I don't think I'm going to do any more torching. I think it is good. So hang on one second. I'll bring you in. Okay. So I need to apologize too. I know I had a different angle today, but I broke my other tripod. So this one doesn't sit up as high. So I had to do it at a different angles. So you can see that orange stripe. Do you see that orange stripe running through there? That's so cool. But yeah, look at these. Whoop. Focus, focus. Look at those multicolored cells. Aren't those cool? That pink surrounding the turquoise. <clears throat> My phone, I think, is <clears throat> focusing on the glare instead of on the paint. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. So yeah, you can see that pink surrounding the blue. Look at that one. Pink, blue, pink, blue. I love that. Love when that happens. Some more here. That orange stripe. And the blue there. Love, love, love those. So fun. Lots of yellow in this one. Look at those. Wow. Wow. This one's down here. The white peeking through. Didn't have a lot of the white show up. Tends to blend. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Look at those. You can see all the colors trying to pop in on that one. Fun. So cool. Look at that one. It's got some green, yellow, white, blue, pink, turquoise, pink, yellow. love when those cells do that. Those colors mixing together. Playing so well together. See, I'm not sure about these green and yellow cells that popped up randomly on their own. Ooh, look at that one. The yellow, the aqua, the yellow, the pink, the turquoise, the pink. Love it. Love it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, if you like what I'm doing, I hope you'll like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're informed anytime I upload something new. And as always, thanks so much for your support. I really super appreciate all your time. You guys have a great one, okay? Bye-bye.